Hi, I'm Michelle. Today we'll be discussing the methods that you can use to form your LLC in Missouri. Now we're going to be covering the steps involved in starting your LLC, the forms that you're going to need, the naming requirements, and the five main steps needed to actually register your Missouri LLC. I'll also be explaining the importance of having a registered agent and a very key term known as piercing the corporate will. Now, if these terms aren't familiar to you, then I highly suggest you watch this video. Missouri forestry and agriculture industry makes a total contribution of around $88.4 billion. There is a huge plantation of crops of cotton and soybean in the state. Other than the crops, Missouri is ranked at number two in beef production and sixth in the turkey production around the country. The state of Missouri is contributing hugely to the aerospace and defense industry. There are more than 80,000 people who are employed in the industry. There is a Boeing defense space and security assembly station, which is employing most of the people there. So you can start off your Missouri LLC by three methods. Number one, that you can do it yourself, in which case you can choose to fill out the online forms or you can send it off via mail. Now number two is that you hire a professional service to do it for you, which is the most easy and secure method out there. We recommend Theater Brands as one of the best services for this purpose. Number three is that you can go ahead and hire an attorney. Now coming to a very common question, what exactly is an LLC? An LLC is a hybrid business entity combining a corporation's characteristics with a partnership or sole proprietorship. It separates your personal assets from your business assets, thus giving you personal asset protection. Now when you're starting off your LLC in Missouri, you mainly have to file a certificate of formation with the state and pay a filing fee of $50. In this video, we're going to be discussing options number one and number two, but we're going to be placing an emphasis on why exactly you need a professional service to do it for you, because you have to make sure that you're doing your LLC work correctly, because this is is one of those things where you just cannot afford missing out key information or have any misunderstandings. Taylor Brands is a really good and competent professional service that you can get because forming an LLC is not just filing the certificate of formation, but it's also deciding on a name, hiring a registered agent, creating an operating agreement, and obtaining an EIN. Now, all of these can be done under one roof with Taylor Brands. I'll be leaving the links in the description below. You can go there and you can check them out. We're now going to discuss in detail the five important steps that you must cover when forming your LLC in Missouri. The first step to starting off your LLC in Missouri is basically choosing the business name. It's pretty simple, right? Now, before you name your business, you must know that the name should be easy to remember. It should be available in the state and it should follow all the LLC naming guidelines. You can find the naming guidelines at startmylc.io. Now, the four key things that you need to be aware of when you're naming your LLC are number one, your business name should be available and no other existing business in Missouri can share that name. Each business name is unique to its owner. Limited liability company or an LLC should be there as a suffix in the company name. You cannot use any name for your business that is confusing or could be misleading. Now terms such as state department, FBI, CIA should not be included. Now, number four is that terms like bank, university, doctor, attorney, they can be added, but only after the additional requirements by the Missouri state government are fulfilled. If you do not wish to file your LLC right now, but you do want to hold on to the name that you've decided, then you can reserve your LLC name for 60 days. Now, to keep the name, you have to file a name reservation application and you have to pay $25 to reserve the name with the Missouri State Secretary of State. Coming to the second and highly vital step to forming an LLC in the state of Missouri is to appoint a registered agent. Now, a registered agent is an entity that will act or work on your LLC's behalf and will receive important paperwork and other official government correspondence in the state of Missouri. Now, hence, this is why you need a very competent registered agent for your LLC. Now, make sure your registered agent is a resident of Missouri or has a physical street address. The business address is used as the LLC's principal address in Missouri. Most LLC formation companies also provide registered agent services. Taylor Brands is a great LLC setup service. They do provide a registered agent service and so many more services at a very reasonable price. Now, a key thing to know when getting a registered agent is having a very legit one. Because in case you get a lawsuit or if you get sued, the lawyer of the other party is going to do what is known as piercing the corporate will. Now, most people believe that they're setting up their LLCs for tax purposes, but the real reason for setting up your LLC is to limit your liability. Basically, what it does is that it creates a divide between your personal assets and your business assets. So if you're sued in your business, they cannot go after your personal assets. So when you're sued, the attorney who is the one suing you is going to start looking for cracks in your LLC. And this is where they pierce the corporate will. The first thing they're going to do is check whether you have a registered agent, if the agent is legit and have been filing the paperwork. The third and another important step in forming an LLC is to file a certificate of formation. The Missouri Articles of Organization is a legal document needed to officially register your business with the Secretary of State. It costs $50 if you're filing online and $105 if you're filing by mail to file your formation certificate in Missouri. 
The certificate of formation includes details like the name of your LLC, registered agent's name, address, employee details, structure of your company, whether it's member managed or manager managed. Now, before you're hiring employee in Missouri, one should really know about the rules and regulations thoroughly so that you can avoid any future issues. We personally suggest that you use Taylor Brands to file the certificate of formation because they provide an easier way to fill out the form without any confusion or missing any of the steps. Now, if you do get stuck anywhere, they do have a live chat where you can go ask your questions and they will respond to you. The fourth step is filing the operating agreement. An operating agreement is an internal document that legally outlines the proprietorship and operating procedures of your LLC. Now, this document is vital as it ensures that all the business owners are on the same page regarding how they operate, their voting power, business dissolutions, and so much more, and it helps reduce future conflicts. Now, when it comes to filing the Missouri LLC operating agreement, the state doesn't really require you to have a very comprehensive operating agreement, but it is ideal that you have one that contains the details of your entire business operation. It's recommended that it should be done by using a professional service such as Taylor Brands, since they know exactly what you do and you won't have to worry about missing out any of the details. The agreement template is drafted for a very small fee of $29. The EIN, also known as the Employer Identification Number, is a nine-digit number given by the IRS to make it easier to identify the type of businesses for tax purposes and taxes in general. The EIN is necessary for any active business or any form of businesses for that matter. Now, an EIN is needed when the LLC is hiring employees. Now, to obtain an EIN, one has to fill up a form, which can be done online or you can do it by mail, and you just submit it to the IRS. Now, you can also get the EIN assistant through Taylor Brands who can help you with the process. I'll be leaving the links to all of the resources in the description below. You can go there, check out which of the options fit your requirements. But for now, I'm going to be showing you how to file your forms using Taylor Brands. So this is the website for Taylor Brands. And as you can see on the website, there's option to set up your LLC and you can also design a logo, merch and the website itself for your brand in case you need one and haven't really gotten around to getting it. I'm going to go into form an LLC. Now choose the state that you're setting up your LLC in. Add your business name. You can check for the name availability here, which will save you a lot of time. Or alternatively, you can choose the method that I told you earlier by going to the business entity name search. Click on the type of services that you're offering. You'll have to pick which stage of your business that you're on, whether it's still in the idea stage or it has been set up and fully running. Choose what sort of income your brand will be. Choose whether your business will have a physical address to receive the documents and also whether there will be a dedicated person there who is going to receive these. Select the number of employees. Now you have to fill out the information for your business like your name, phone number, email address. Now choose whether you want to opt for a registered agent or not. Taylor Brand charges $199 annually for hiring a registered agent. If you don't have one, then I highly recommend that you get one through them because the one thing you can't risk is not having a legitimate registered agent. You're going to need an EIN like I discussed before for tax related purposes. If you don't have one or you're overwhelmed by the process required to get an EIN, then just let Taylor Brands do it for you. It's going to cost you $99. Pick if you want to file for compliance. It will cost you $199 when you do it through Taylor Brands. Here you can choose whether you want to have your business branding done. If you already have things like logos, domain, and a website, then just move forward. Select if you want to speed up the process. You can form the operating agreement using Taylor Brands. If you haven't made one already, or you are unsure of how to proceed with making the agreement by yourself. See if all the information that you chose and entered is correct and check the final billing as well. You can now proceed to pay for the service and that's all you need to start and form your LLC. Now that you've created your Misery LLC, there's still a few things that you're going to need. You're going to need a company business bank account and a business credit card. You have to file the Misery business permits and licenses. You need to get general liability insurance and professional liability insurance, which covers your employees. And you need to file a Misery annual report. Now, I hope this detailed video helped you out on how to start an LLC in Misery. And I wish you the best of luck if you're starting off your business there. Please continue supporting our channel by clicking the video, liking the video, subscribing to our channel, and clicking the little notification button. Thank you for watching.